My name is Mark, and I am 58 years old. I had a stroke on February 1st, 2018. What's the word ignorant? I don't know the word, and I don't care. I never heard the word aphasia, and I didn't want to know about it either. I will talk about aphasia, the types of aphasia, and the causes of aphasia. The word aphasia is from two Greek words, a, not, and phania, speak. Aphasia is a communication disorder that causes deficiencies of expression of speech and understanding of words from a stroke or other brain problems. People with aphasia know what they want to say but can't speak, say the wrong words, having problems with numbers or comprehension of words. There are many types of aphasia. Broca's non-fluent aphasia is how words are strung together to form complete sentences. Wernicke's fluent aphasia may say many words that don't make sense. Global aphasia, mix of both, affects a extensive portion of the brain's front and back regions of the left hemisphere. People with anomic aphasia can't find the words they want to use. Primary progressive Aphasia is actually a form of dementia where people lose the ability to speak, write, and read over time. The most common cause of aphasia is stroke. It can also result from head injuries brain tumors, brain surgeries, infections, and dementia. Aphasia affects about 2 million Americans and nearly 180,000 Americans acquire the disorder each year. However, most people have never heard of it. To me, aphasia is communication and love in my family, but it can also mean something different in other people and their families. Using aphasia in a sentence. My wife was mad at me, so she was aphasing to me. Not speaking. What? It's not a verb? Okay. Aphasia is a language disorder, a loss of words not intelligence. There are many types of aphasia and it affects everyone differently. No matter what age, gender, or ethnicity, aphasia can happen to anyone.